You understand me? So it is not Sam George saying the president has lied or the president spoke untruth. Take your salary. Bag of, of pure water. How many bags of pure water could your salary buy in 2020? How many bags of pure water can you buy today? How many gallons of four liter vegetable oil could your salary buy then? And how much can it buy today? Let's just do a simple mathematics here. If your salary was 2,000 Ghana cities, in 2020, a bag of cement was 25 cities. It then means that for every, uh, for 2,000 cities, you could have bought 800 bags of cement or 80 bags of cement. There, yeah, 80 bags of cement with your 2,000 Ghana cities. Now, a bag of cement is almost 100 Ghana, it's about 90 something cities. It means that even if it was 100 cities, you could buy only 20 bags. Even at best, you can buy 25 bags. So if you could buy 80 bags of cement in 2020 with the same salary, and today you can only buy 25, are you better off or worse off? This is the real state of the economy. If you could buy oil, a four gallon liter, a four liter gallon of oil, in 2020 at 56 cities and today you are buying that same thing at 150 cities how many could you buy then and how many could you buy today so don't take some judges word for it check your pocket like president kufo said she was sitting in nafatu abapa listen it was heartbreaking that president kufo you see president kufo left as soon as the thing was because he felt so disrespected because for president akufuado to have the effrontery to say that the best infrastructure has happened under his watch when President Kufo is sitting here. And I'm not using President Mahama because President Mahama is in a league of his own when it comes to infrastructure. None of them compares to him. But even if you wanted to compare President Kufo to President Akufuado, President Akufuado cannot hold, a, he can't, he's not fit to lace President Kufo's shoes when it comes to infrastructure. The kind of infrastructure President Kufo did, the Cape Coast Yamuransan Road, the Akrakumasi upgrade. What has President Akufuado done? with the monies that he has received. And can you imagine that President Akufuado, who is commander-in-chief of the armed forces, came here today. And just like in 2021, he was silent on the murder of eight Ghanaian citizens by the men of the military that he is commander-in-chief of. Just yesterday, we saw the brutality that was meted out in Ashaman. One Ghanaian citizen is bedridden. Ghanaians are dealing with all kinds of people who were made to drink gutter water under his watch. That is the commander kind of leader he is. Well, and he was silent on it. Well, apparently um, the Ghana Armed Forces actually released a presser this morning or I think late yesterday and uh, looking at how they, they they spoke or the message they gave in the, in the presser, it, it looks as if, I don't know, some Ghanaians are saying they are justifying their actions and they claim that... Because they have an irresponsible commander-in-chief who endorses the extrajudicial treatment, killing and maltreatment of Ghanaian citizens. The army is a reflection of his commanding officer.